Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today we have an ulcer-like lesion in oral cavity that is necrotizing sallow metaplasia. So some of the lesions we get the answer from the title itself. So we have three words necrotizing sallow and metaplasia. Necrotizing is nothing but necrosis, uh, the death of tissues. It's more like an ulcer lesion. And silo means salivary glands and metaplasia is a change of shape. So we have seen hyperplasia, hyperplasia, aplasia, uh, dysplasia. So metaplasia is nothing but it is the beginning of a uh, malignant transformation, the change of shape. So necrotizing silo metaplasia is an ulcer-like lesion which is present in the salivary gland. So let's see the details of necrotizing silo metaplasia. Necrotizing metaplasia, which is a, not very common, it is a uh, uncommon local destructive inflammatory condition on the salivary glands. Okay, so the cause of this uh, lesion is not uh, known, but they believe it as a result of ischemia of the salivary tissue, which further leads to local infarction. So ischemia happens, which leads to the infarction of the salivary glands. So when there is uh, ischemia, there will not be no blood supply, there will not be no oxygen, the ATP production is lost and there will not be any glucose, it leads to infarction. Okay, so what are the predisposing factors? Predisposing factors are traumatic injuries, dental infections, uh, it could be ill-fitting dentures, upper respiratory tract infections and the adjacent tumors and the previous tumors of the same location. So, in some cases, however, it may occur without any known predisposing factors. Uh, let's move on to the clinical features. So, it most frequently develops in the palatal salivary glands. Okay, so that is hard palate is more involved than the soft palate. So, the two-third of the cases, okay, two-third of the cases that is in palatal, they are unilateral. So palatal cases are mostly unilateral uh, with the rest being bilateral or midline in location. So majority of the cases are unilateral. And uh, other clinical features, it has been reported in other minor salivary gland sites also and occasionally in the parotid gland. Most commonly it is seen in on hard palate but it is also reported in minor salivary glands and also the parotid gland. Uh, whereas the submantibular and sublingual are very rarely affected. Submantibular and sublingual. They are very rarely affected by this necrotizing metaplasia. And it is most commonly in adults. And the men groups have the predilection over the females. So it uh, appears initially as a non-ulcerated swelling. Okay, And it is mostly associated with pain and parasitia uh, with a crater like ulcer crater like it is like a depression okay depression like ulcer uh, which can range from less than one centimeter or up to five centimeter in diameter and which appears within two to three weeks and and histopathological features the microscopic appearance of this necrotizing salometoplasia is characterized by acinar necrosis that is a salivary gland acinar necrosis in early lesions followed by associated squamous metaplasia of the salivary gland decks in early lesions the acinar necrosis and further advanced lesion it causes the squamous metaplasia of the salivary decks and the treatment it is basically uh, a self-limiting condition and most instances instances it is uh, it heals unevenfully without causing any uh, much problems it heals that is a self-limiting condition so that is all about necrotizing sallow metaplasia it is a uh, ulcer which is seen mainly on the palate that is hard palate 
uh, due to ischemia and further uh, it is leading to infarction these are the predisposing factors rheumatic injuries infections ill-fitting dentures upper respiratory tract infection and other tumors uh, heart palate is most involved adults and men are uh, involved pain and paresthesia and the most common is a crater like ulcers which is seen within two to three weeks and there will be uh, very rare chances for submandibular and subluvial gland sometimes it is seen on the minor salivary glands and also parotid glands but mostly heart palate and asina necrosis and squamous metaplasy of salivary decks uh, in histopathology features and it is a self-limiting condition so that's all about necrotizing salivary metaplasy it is a short note which uh, which has been asking uh, in pathology or pathology so i'll come up with a new topic in the industry and more thank you